Hey, Erica here. So today's going to be a completely different video. I know I usually do videos about how to add sections to your Etsy and how to add listings to your Etsy and stuff like that. But today's more of a more serious video of what to do when there's a problem with an order. Um, and this has happened to me a few times where the customer gets really, really upset and frustrated and then they start threatening you or they start harassing you. So, and I never thought that would happen because I had so many good client experiences up until like maybe two, three months ago where I started having like weird instances. To keep your customer happy, um, try to ignore the negativity that they're bringing your way, which is so hard to do, especially as women selling to other women, with Etsy being a woman platform, mostly women platform, like, it can get really catty really quick, especially with text, you know, because we don't provide over-the-phone support. Like, your customer might have read something wrong that you sent her, or you might have read something wrong that she sent you, and then before you know it, y'all are going tit for tat, which is not productive at all. So to keep things productive and professional, completely ignore... The negative stuff that she is saying and stick to what you can do and how you can help her. Say, I understand your frustration. I would like to help you with that. Um, and then ask for whatever additional information from her that you need. Whether that's her logins, her files. Like if you're a designer like me or a web developer or a web designer, like you'd be surprised. Like no matter what platform it is, sometimes the customers don't know their own password. Nothing against that. I'm just saying, like, it could be as simple as they don't know their password or they're logged into the wrong Adobe account or they're logged into the wrong Canva account or they're trying to open whatever you provided to them in the wrong format. If you're in digital products, like, they're trying to open a PDF on their cell phone or they're trying to open a Canva template that's for premium on their phone. And it's like, even though you put it in the instructions, even though you provided video tutorials, you still have to, you know, use screenshots and explain again how to do something. I know it's frustrating because you don't plan on it, but um, that's how you can keep them happy. Like, you have to get to the real root of the issue. Like, earlier this week with one of my clients, I thought, you know, she just wasn't understanding, but it was that there was an issue on Canva's side with the templates. They changed their process for how creators can share templates with their clients, but they didn't tell us. They didn't give us a heads up. So we're thinking, oh, business as usual. And it's like, no, I'm supposed to completely change this process for my, so to keep my customer happy. So the way in 2019 that I want to avoid these type of issues with difficult and demanding clients is to pay attention early on. Sometimes a person can reveal the type of client they're going to be and their initial interaction. Um, whether they kind of like don't greet you or they're kind of like being demanding already. And it's like, hey, we haven't even signed a contract yet. Like they can give you cues that this is not going to be a good time. <laughs> so yeah, I would definitely um, take the time to interview the client because at the end of the day, you they think they're hiring you, but you're really hiring them. And when a project is done, it's up to you to decide, okay, do I want to keep that relationship going or am I like, nah, I'm good. And see, in their mind, they think it's them, but it's actually you. Like, you being your own boss, you being a freelancer, you being a your own designer or a designer of your own firm or a creative director, you get to decide the type of clientele you want to deal with. You don't have to deal with every client. I'm going to say that one more time. You don't have to deal with every client. If someone's going to be difficult, harass you, and be, and like be demeaning to you and doesn't respect your craft then you definitely don't need to work with them. And one of the clients, that's kind of how it was getting. Like, she sent me a text message at 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, what type of emergency is this? Because there's no reason for you to be calling me or texting me at 1 a.m. And she had the audacity to text me at 1 o'clock in the morning. So why she felt the need, like, it's 1 o'clock my time, which means it was 11 o'clock her time. Why are you contacting me at 11 o'clock? Why are you not using email? Like, because everything can be traced, especially with the type of platform that Etsy is. And this is for anyone that's new to Etsy or thinking about getting into Etsy. You want to make sure all of your communications with your customers and clients are in writing. Through email and through Etsy messages. Definitely Etsy messages. Because believe it or not, the new Etsy support team, they do go through those. And when you call in to dispute something or to talk about something or for, to get clarification on anything, they, that's what they pull up. 
They pull up to say, oh, yes, I see that, Ms. Johnson, you did respond to her email on X, Y, and Z date. And I see that you did send her that file. Always, especially when you send digital products, make sure you follow it up with an Etsy message, too. I emailed you the files on blah, blah, blah date. Because that's how you're going to save yourself. Because you'd be surprised someone could act all nice to you in email and text messages. But when it comes to that money, they want to get on Etsy and act like they want a refund. So I'm just letting you know. I'm keeping it real with you today. <laughs> I'm not being all happy, jolly. No, I mean dead serious because that's the world we live in. Everyone wants something for almost free. So they'll act like, oh, everything's going great. You're getting their branding together. And they get the files and everything. And then they act like, oh, they suddenly don't want it. And I was like, sis, you were just happy yesterday. You were just happy the day before that day. So what changed? Oh, that's right. You suddenly um, wanted money for whatever reason. And I was like, no, I sent you your files. So bye. Have a good day. Never even mentions refund. Completely ignore that because that could send you in a tip for tat about your policy. And then they're going to take it as you being condescending and mean. So to avoid all that, ignore that. Ignore the harassment. Ignore the threat. Just say, I would love to resolve this issue for you. I want you to love your whatever it is that you provide to them. I, would, I want you to love your sweater. I want you to love that midi dress that I made you. Please send it back so I can fix it. How can I fix this for you? I want you to love your business card. What revisions would you like me? See how easy that is? <laughs> it's much easier to say that than to say, well, didn't you read my return policy? You don't get a re refund. Duh. <laughs> or, or, well, if you had looked at my shop policy, you would see that I don't give re refunds on digital products. See, that's not going to be, that's not as warm. So you just got to, got to still butter them up a little bit. Because at the end of the day, they are your customer. They did pay you for a service or a product. So you have to be nice to them. You have to, you have to be too nice to where they run you over. Like, you don't have to give them additional free stuff. But whatever they've already purchased from you, you make sure that, yes, you delivered it. And especially a physical product, make sure you have proof that it got there. <laughs> like, you're not just imagining stuff. It really got there and you really made it. That's it. That's all I could say. Thanks for watching. Bye. Let me know if you want more talks like this where it's more customer relationship oriented and like how to problem solve. Bye. Five, four, three, two, one. Level up. Level up.